my week off and she's dragged me all the way to bloody Gaza. Anyway, shall we? Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Flat Cap Motoring. Um, yeah, something a bit different today. Um, it is our week off, so we've decided to do a couple of uh, motoring related things whilst we're off. Today we are um, up at uh, Gaydon at the uh, British Motor Museum. So yeah, never been up here before. I've um, done a few museums, but not this one. So um, yeah, let's go and have a let's go and have a look and see what's in store. She's been she's been past she's been pestering me to go up here. So uh, it's an automatic door, dear. <laughs> it started well. Land Rovers and farm related stuff. <laughs> yeah. Model Y here. I suppose it can't get any closer because obviously he's all barriered off. But nice little uh, exhibit here of a little old uh, like sort of country garage, I would say. You say? Yeah. Yeah. It's typical garage. Typical sort of yeah, your uh, sort of thirties backstreet country garage sort of thing. Yeah. Very nice little car. Like how they've not sort of restored it. Like you know, you still like obviously got the rust and everything on it as well but it's sort of like an oily rag resto that's very nice all right so now we've got out of the way of the uh boffins that are doing the uh video we've got quite a bit to go and see i didn't think did anything my dear yeah. yeah all right let's be on then Can't be serious that you like that. It's, it's, only, it's built because the Land Rover got very popular and Rover wanted to do the same. Yeah, it didn't work though, did it? <laughs> I don't know, I never drove one. It's terrible. <laughs>
Uh, sports car section so obviously just gonna, gonna have a quick wander around here like I said there's a lot to get through so obviously I'm not gonna be able to run everything but this pre-war Rover 12 horsepower saloon is uh, rather interesting Revell Revell special yeah 1935 this is fantastic nosy in there nice do like that
just having a look around some of the uh, land speed record cars. And over here in the corner, I'm spotted this MGZT. Now, obviously, it doesn't look particularly uh, special, but reading the uh, plinth, this held the record for the fastest estate car. I'm gonna put all that in there. Imagine meeting this at a set of traffic lights. Parachutes on the back and everything. That's <laughs> yeah. it is funny, but yeah, you wouldn't want to be messing with it, would you? Very cool. fans here is the range stormer concept car this was 2004 i think and i believe it was on gran turismo 4 correct me if i'm wrong but yeah what an awesome thing first time i've actually seen it in person wicked and another little feature that the british motor museum have is this little time road thing okay so let me I don't know if you can see, but obviously this 
goes all the way up and around the back of the museum to um fuck's sake yes that <laughs> so yeah let's have a let's have a wander down time road shall we We have found the uh, we have found the voxel section. Let's uh, go and have a newsie, shall we?
definitely don't make uh, voxels like they used to anymore. These are some lovely, lovely little cars. Absolutely fabulous looking things. We're just on our way over to the uh, second building because time is getting on. And uh, we're not going to have time otherwise. So uh, yeah, I've just spotted this, this uh, Velux Tour. How nice is that? This is a 1926 car. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if uh, Vauxhall still built cars with this much thought and effort, yeah, they'd be a lot popular. Hey ho. Whew. One building down, one to go. <laughs> I'm I'll do fucking less knackered. Then. Jaguar Heritage Park of the British Motor Museum here at Gaydon. I'm keeping my voice down because it's eerily quiet in here. But yeah. Nice big old cats here. We do like that. <laughs> Series one in the middle, series two on the left, and a series three. E-type. Very nice looking exhibit. <laughs> This is so weird, so unnecessary Look how we both got 
real good at burning bridges Yeah, we're both strange by some different baby I think it's over now Is it over now? Is it over now? Is it over now? God fucking hell Your sunglasses out for that one <laughs> that was, yeah, that's really <laughs> What's the details on that? An XJ8 polished saloon, yeah. I think uh, the term no shit comes to mind there. <laughs> <laughs> This is so weird and so unnecessary Look at we both got real good at burning bridges Yeah, we're both strange but so different, baby I think it's over now Is it over So that was the uh, that was the Jaguar uh, Heritage exhibit. So now we're going to go upstairs. We've just come out of the lift, and we're going to go and have a look and see what is upstairs. Let's go. <laughs>
like I said, I'm trying to um, focus a bit more on the older stuff like this. Michelotti prototype dynamite? It is. Obviously, it had a different front end and a different rear end as well, but very cool. I don't. It's not more modern stuff here, so obviously this is the sort of thing. Obviously, do it sort of see day to day, but I would like just quickly like to mention that this is 2005 75 CDT Connoisseur. This is the last ever Rover produced. Last Rover off the production line, and it's here at the British Motor Museum. Sad to see that, but you know. She wanted to have her photo taken in Sean the Sheep. <laughs> so, there it is, guys. That is the British Motor Museum here at Gaydon. I'll tell you what, I am knackered. It's been a hell of a day. Yeah, um, but yeah, stunning museum, actually, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say for the price you pay, I mean, we paid, I think it was about £15 uh, per person. And yeah, well, obviously, we get a free return. Um, within the year so yeah all good stuff vintage cars pre-war cars all the way up to modern sort of concept and all that sort of stuff yeah really um really recommend a visit guys if you've never been before so um yeah so we're off home now because i am effing knackered so um yeah thank you very much for watching remember to like subscribe all the usual gubbins until the next until next time oh I can't, i'm too tired to talk so anyway, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Ta-da!